Hey, yo, what's up and welcome. I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to the LAFC career. And we're starting kind of the second half of the season now. We just hit the transfer window. And if you remember, we just lost Christian Ramirez for about two months. And I asked you guys last episode, should we go get another striker to help fill that void left by Christian Ramirez? And some of you were in favor of doing that. Some of you weren't. And I think I'm not going to get another striker. I'm good with Adekoya up top. I like Edward Apoku as the backup to him. And we have Barros as well. So we're good at striker. Plus... I'm trying to keep the series as realistic as possible, and realism would dictate that an MLS team would not go out and just buy another striker, even though, in this series, we have $133 million in the transfer budget, which is freaking absurd for an MLS team, but that's not what an MLS team would do in real life, they just, they, they don't go make those moves, it's not, they, they can't afford to do that, so, we're gonna follow suit, we're gonna stick with, we got, with what we have up top. To start things off with in this transfer window, though, we do have an offer in for one of our players. It's Walker Zimmerman. It is from Espanol, who are in a top five league in Europe. However, Walker Zimmerman's a special case. He's the captain on this team now. He's actually very happy in this team. And in his career, this is his fourth year in LA. I don't think he'd be moving. Honestly, at this point, he's 28 years old. I think he's gonna stay. I don't think I'm going to be selling Walker Zimmerman in this career, especially at least not right now, as I've already sold three designated players plus Andrew Michaels this season alone. I can't sell anyone else, period, much less our captain. So Walker Zimmerman is staying, and I think he's going to be staying for good. So thankfully, we don't really have to worry about fitness being an issue, except for maybe a game or two for the rest of the season. Our schedule is pretty decent. But... We do have some tough games coming up, like, right now. Like, for instance, we have third place in the Eastern Conference, New York Red Bulls coming to town. Then we have Sporting Kansas City, who's one of the bottom teams in the West this season. But then we go on the road to play Portland. That didn't go too well last episode. We lost to them 2-0. And then we have Seattle, who we have not played this season. And they just finally lost their first game of the season last episode. So, yeah, if last, epi if last episode was a test, I don't even know what to call this one. So the one player that really we need to step up now is Julian Green. He's been our MVP this season, undoubtedly. But uh, he kind of took a vacation for the month of June. Oh my god. There you go. That's what I like to see from Pacheco. Adekoya lay that off for Julian Green. We're going to lay that over there. And the ball forward for Adekoya who has got blazing speed. But a little bit too fast that time. You need to hold the run a little bit. Oh, Zimmerman. Holman. Ooh, over the top. Another save by Tyler Miller. These shots are kind of right at him, thank God. But that's like the sixth shot already for New York Red Bulls. And we're only like 15 minutes in? 20 minutes in? Like, they're just getting whatever they want in there. What is going on? What? What in the... Uh, okay. I, 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 can't, I can't stop the team, man. Every bounce goes to them. I tackle the ball three or four times in that build-up play, but I just can't get the ball off of them. Ball here for Evans. Up here for Hayes. Hayes through for Adekoya. Come on, Adekoya. You got to score that. Oh, no. He didn't just hit the post. How did he manage to hit the post from there? Are you kidding me? We're not done yet, though. Ball through for Julian Green. Save. Was he offside? What just happened? Did we get a pen? We better have got a pen for something if they stopped that because we had to tap it on the far side. It's not, it's not even a card so what do we have okay we have a penalty i don't even know what happened honestly i was looking at the rebound so we'll take the pen it's gonna be carlos vela normally it would be ramirez but you know not here so vela's gonna step up he's gonna have the penalty didn't put a lot of power on it but he places it nicely we have the equalizer still not 100 percent sure what happened there ball in here for adekoya Nice ball in here for Hayes. Hayes. Back for Adekoya. I do not know how that... How have we scored two goals in this game? I don't know how we got the penalty. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't a good penalty call. I still... I didn't look, I didn't look at the replay either. But how the hell did Adekoya just score that? He missed the one-on-one. -on -one, banged it off the post. And he just... Somehow... Trickles that ball into the... I don't know. 
I don't know, but Adekoya gets the goal, and now we're suddenly up to nothing. He nutmegged the defender with the shot, and it bounced off the keeper. Are you serious? That's how we score. We can't convert one-on-one -on -one chances, but we score like, no, he did He just, he literally, that was the power he put on that shot. It didn't touch anyone. He literally has that much shot power. Oh, no. Oh, are you? Every ball bounces back to them. It's ridiculous. That ball was put in a very dangerous position. Credit, that was a very good cross. It was, it was bound to end up in a bad spot for us. But I'm pretty sure that hit one of our defenders. I think it might have hit Bernal in the shins. No, it, was, it actually found a New York Red Bull player and he laid it off to Tyler Adams. Fair enough. Just a good play. Poorly defended on us. <sighs> Again, it's one step forward and two steps back. It's like we can't make up any ground. We can't get any momentum going. Oh my god, it's such bad... Why can't we control anything right now? We're playing so shit. There you go, Bernal. Control the ball. There we go. Benzai. Up here for Cantu. Cantu. Up for Atacoya. Atacoya's going to have to hit this early. Atacoya from distance? This game has made no sense. No sense whatsoever. But Atacoya may have just found the game winner from long distance. I didn't even know he could shoot from long distance. That was a really good shot. Okay. We're back up for now. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Okay. The ref blows for full time when we were fully on a counterattack. But, okay. We win. Again, the, the, the final whistle suited that game perfectly. Didn't make any sense. But we get the three points against a very good New York Red Bull team. If, if very good and very lucky New York Red Bulls team. So the injury to Walker Zimmerman actually wasn't bad. It was just a bruised shoulder. So he's actually fine. Back in there for our next match, which is going to be away at Children's Mercy Park in Sporting Kansas City. So let's see what we can do with this one. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's two wins from two today. I will most certainly take that. That is a very promising sign. So it's a good thing that I've already said that we're not selling any more players this season because already in this transfer window alone, we've had an offer for Ty Miller. This one's from Wolves. It actually just came in this minute. We had one for Zimmerman and for Green, both from Espanol. One for Pacheco from Celta and two loan offers, one for Opoku and one for Benzai. I'm sorry, but the Bank of California is closed for the rest of the season. I cannot sell... Any more players. If I accepted all these offers, I would have sold nearly my entire starting 11. No more players are leaving this team this year. So we move on now to play Portland for the second time in two episodes. We want a little bit of payback. They came into our house, beat us 2-0 last time out. We want to go into Providence Park and get a W. We want three points from this thing very, very badly. All right. Here we go. Providence Park in Portland. And I know I said this at the beginning of the Red Bulls game, but man, I really need Julian Green to step up. Like, I need him to be my hero today. I, I desperately need him to show up for this one. How did they get the ball in from there? I'm pretty sure. And it's... What a save by Ty Miller. I don't even know how they got the chance. The passing Blanco. Ty Miller again. Oh, he's been freaking heroic in this match. That better not be a pen. Thank God. Umar comes away, gets it to Calderon, and we're finally out of danger for once. Like, it's, it's been the whole damn match. We've just been under pressure. Here we go. Ball up here for Julian Green. For Umar. Umar is going to find a Poku. Please tell me he was onside. He was a Poku. Save. There's a tap in. Oh, not exactly. It's a, that was not a tap in. That was a very difficult finish. But I think that was Aminu Umar. Yes, it was Aminu Umar with that finish. That was very impressive. Kantu ran away from the ball. Oh, that's just through for MOB. Say it's 1-1. One, one. I cheat. I don't know where. I don't know what's going on. I don't even feel half in control of this team right now. They're off doing their own damn thing. I, I might as well. I might as well put that down. I have no control over what's going on anymore. Oh my god! What the fuck? What is? What just happened? I literally don't have control of my team. Why did it player lock me to Kareche right there? 
When I had, I think, at least two players right here. Or no, I was, I'm sorry, a player locked me to Pacheco. Carice was standing right there to pick up that ball in the box. Instead, it made me stay with Pacheco, which made me screw up a pass and gave them a goal. I, what is the point of this? This thing doesn't work. Like, there's no point. Yes, a Poku. Didn't tell him to turn that way, but that's okay. There we go. Have a shot. It's off the post. Here we go. This is good passing. Poku up for Bear. Bear where is... What did he turn that way for? This is, that is the epitome of what I'm talking about with this game today. I, I don't have control. The players are just doing whatever they freaking want. And Bobby says coming through again. We managed to defend that, but I don't think we're going to have enough time for another attack. We don't. What Like... What is the point, man? I haven't thrown a controller in so long, but I don't fucking need a controller because I can't control shit anyway. I'm calm now. I promise. I'm good. And uh, we move on to play what might be our biggest game of the season. At least it's the biggest game so far. We are taking on second place Seattle. We're at home for this thing. They sit five points back. We've played the same number of games. If we lose this game... Things are going to get very interesting in the Western Conference. All right. I have given up hope of Julian Green being our savior. Uh, he got off to a hot start this season, and since then he's been a walking iceberg. I mean, he literally couldn't get any colder. So I don't know who the hell's going to step up, but somebody better do something quickly. Here we go. Ball for Green. Green apparently going for Benzai. That was supposed to be to Adekoya. That's Adekoya. Stefan Fry with a big save. We almost took an early lead. We haven't done that today. Oh, here we go. Somehow it spells up for Green. Green sort of plays it to Umar. When we, we sort of have something here, maybe. Umar in there. It's just not, it's just not right. He just overhit the, it was, Julian Green was there. He was open. He made the right run and Umar missed him. Ball out here. Benzai for Hayes. And I have something, maybe. We got somebody got taken down in there, but it's Umar through. It's going to be Umar playing it back. There it is. Yes! I swear to God, I've never been so relieved to score a goal in my whole fucking existence. And it's Say Adekoya who scores the goal. I think I just had a stroke. Here we go. Ball for Pacheco. Up here for Umar. Umar staying in front of a man. Umar playing that in. Holds it up. Lays it across. Adekoya. First time, no. Second time. Third time. It's going to be Enrique Vera. 2-0 to LAFC. You can tell I'm not even enjoying scoring goals at this point. It took three freaking tries from point blank range to actually beat the keeper. Or beat the... I don't even know who the first two shots hit to get the fucking defender. Oh my god. They has been a struggle. There is the final whistle. We actually somehow managed to keep a clean sheet. I don't know what's going on. I know that there's been an update to the game very recently. Holy crap. These teams are playing. I've, n I've never seen an MLS team play the way that Seattle, Portland, and New York Rebels have played in, in this episode. The passing has been almost all one-touch passes. I can't even get near the ball, much less tackle the ball. It's been absurd. The fact that we kept a clean sheet there is a very, very big miracle. All right. Well, then. That is where we're going to end it for today. We'll start off next episode with the quarterfinal in the U.S. Open Cup. We'll be taking on the Fighting Wandos of San Jose in that one. They're currently in sixth place. And, uh... I honestly... I don't even know how to describe what the gameplay was today. At least once a month, you'll sit down to play FIFA and you'll experience a completely different game than the last time you played. Today, I don't think I've ever played this game before. That was... Just, I've never seen some things that happened today. I like It's completely different than what I've experienced, but... Okay... We'll work with that. At least the games were close and competitive. I mean, I can't complain there. It's just I wasn't expecting what happened. So, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll show you guys the rest of the table as well. I, I keep forgetting to do that. So, 
there is the bottom of the Western Conference. In the East, Atlanta's on top with Toronto five points back and New York Red Bulls starting to fall off a little bit. And there is the rest of the Eastern Conference as well. So, since I am at a loss for words, I guess we'll just end it right there. So, that's it for this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you when we come back for some more LAFC career. See ya.